A number of materials can be found on the internet that make mocking use of symbolism associated with St. John Paul II, such as the Pope's favorite song, Barca. Graphics are created attributing pedophilic tendencies to the Pope. Even the exact time of the Pope's death is mocked, 9.37 p.m. Such an extensive campaign of hatred and discredit is aimed at discouraging the younger generation from our great countryman. And these are different methods. On the one hand, trying to ridicule the Pope, make him out to be an old man who enjoyed cream cake. On the other hand, making such a serious moral attack as the popular Polish media material, which was trying to discredit the Pope. The broadcast of the report Franciscan III stirred up public opinion. The material alleged that the Pope, while still a cardinal, covered up pedophilia in the Archdiocese of Kraków. The TV station relied on documents of the security service of the People's Republic of Poland. The material used a number of suppositions on the basis of which conclusions were drawn. This total lie based on a lack of logical thinking, but also lack of foundation, unfortunately led to the conclusion that Wojtyła as cardinal was a criminal. The pontificate of St. John Paul II was special because of the Pope's immense involvement in the life of the Church around the world. The Holy Father made more than 100 foreign pilgrimages and initiated World Youth Day, in which he saw the future of the Church. He was not afraid to address difficult topics. In his teaching, he always stood up for the sanctity of life and the family. The Pope was not attuned to trends. He didn't want to follow the world in the sense that he didn't want to please the world. He just had something concrete to convey. He wanted to talk about human dignity, the dignity of marriage and family. This was his very personal contribution, which after all he brought from Kraków, the love for life. Several generations of Poles and Christians around the world have been raised on his teaching. Musician and composer Dariusz Maleo Malejonek owes his conversion to the Pope. We let ourselves take away such a treasure as his teaching or message. I was from that generation of the world youth days that kind of set sail swim against the current. Everyone has their own Westerplatte. These are the things that young people were captivated by. In defense of the Pope's good name, the first National Papal March will pass through the streets of Warsaw this Sunday. Everyone is invited. This is a grassroots initiative, so we should all attend. Anyone who is close to John Paul II, who is close to his teachings, who would like to think about what freedom, self-government, responsibility means, then quoting the title of John Paul II's book, to all these people we are just saying, get up and let's go. The Papal March will set off at 11 a.m. from the Domovsky Roundabout in Warsaw and then proceed to the Archcathedral Basilica of St. John the Baptist on Świętojańska Street, where it will end with a Mass at 12.30 p.m.